An undescended testicle, called cryptorchidism, is one that has not descended through the inguinal canal into the scrotum. Development of the testicles, or testes, in the fetal abdomen begins early in pregnancy and is influenced by several hormones. At 32 to 36 weeks gestation, the testicles begin to descend into the scrotum. In 30% of premature and about 3% of full-term male infants, one or both of the testicles have not completed the descent at birth and remain undescended. In most cases, the testicles will descend spontaneously during the first three to six months of life, so that by six months of age, the prevalence of undescended testicles falls below 1%. An undescended testicle increases the risk of infertility, testicular cancer, and the development of associated hernias and testicular torsion. An empty scrotum can also cause significant physiological stress as a boy gets older. Early identification and intervention is very important. Testicles that do not descend by one year of age should be carefully evaluated, and it is recommended that surgery be done by three years of age to reduce the risk of permanent testicular damage. Bringing the testicle into the scrotum maximizes sperm production, increasing the odds for normal fertility. It also allows examination for early detection of testicular cancer. Some boys have a normally descended testicle at birth that later appears to move back up into the abdomen, usually when the child is between the ages of 4 and 10 years. This is called an acquired undescended testicle and is thought to occur when the spermatic cord attached to the testicle does not grow as quickly as the rest of the child's body. Some boys have a retractile testicle, one that has descended fully into the scrotum, but at times retracts back into the abdomen. This is sometimes mistaken for an acquired undescended testicle. This retraction is related to an overactive reflex of the cremasteric muscle pulling the testicle out of the scrotum. Boys who are anxious or ticklish during a testicular exam may demonstrate this reflex. Since a retractile testicle always comes back down into the scrotum, this condition does not increase the risk of infertility or testicular cancer. As the specific cause for cryptorchidism is not known, it cannot be prevented. So what are the signs and symptoms? There is really only one sign, and that is the inability to feel the testicle in the scrotal sac. Typically, the scrotum appears small and underdeveloped on the affected side. Examination by palpation confirms that one or both of the testicles are not in the scrotum. The undescended testicle may or may not be palpable in the abdominal wall above the scrotum. If the testicle cannot be palpated at all, its location must be identified via diagnostic laparoscopy. An inguinal hernia might also accompany this condition. There will be no effect on pubertal changes related to secondary sexual characteristics as the testes will still secrete hormones into the bloodstream. In most cases, no treatment is indicated as the testicle will descend into the scrotum without any intervention during the first year of life. When this does not happen, Hormonal injections of BHCG or testosterone might be given to try to stimulate movement of the testicle down to the scrotum. Surgical orchiopexy is the definitive therapy. The surgeon brings the testicle down into the scrotum through the normal abdominal opening and stitches it into place. If the testicle is absent or cannot be moved to the scrotum, testicular prostheses might be implanted. After surgery, 50 to 65 percent of men who had two undescended testicles and 85 percent who had a single undescended testicle will have normal fertility. While orchiopexy does not affect the risk of testicular cancer, it does increase the likelihood of early detection. You'll help identify this disorder when you notice the absence of testes in the scrotal sac when you do a newborn physical exam. Your interventions for a child undergoing orchiopexy include assessing for anxiety and fear. Both the child and the parents may feel embarrassed about it. It is important to find out what the parents told the child and how he feels about the surgery so that you can best provide emotional support. It is also important to assure the child that his penis is not involved in the procedure. Other nursing care concerns include providing opportunities for the parents to be involved in providing care and using age-appropriate activities to teach the child about the condition and the procedure. It is important to help the family identify the expected findings after this procedure. It is not unusual for the scrotum to be underdeveloped before surgery, as it has not had a testicle in it previously. The scrotum should expand after orchiopexy and develop normally, but there may be a large amount of swelling after the procedure that can last a few weeks. After surgery, you'd assist also the parents with a schedule for resuming the child's usual activities. Tub baths might be prohibited for a while, 
The dressing should be inspected daily and play activities such as straddling a toy should be restricted. You'll also teach the parents and child the steps of testicular self-examination. Any surgery involving the urinary tract or genitalia will have an impact on growth and development. It is important to consider the child's body image when surgery is delayed past infancy. Adolescents are especially likely to be concerned about the effects of the surgery on their appearance and sexual abilities.